Hi everyone, we are here at Data Plus AI Summit and I'm super excited to be with the CEO of Telium, uh, Jeff. Welcome to the Robert Show, it's your debut. I'm super excited to chat and learn more about what's happening at Telium. Thank you, Robert. It's great yeah. to be here in this amazing conference. Uh, thank you for traveling all this way. Uh, we are a 15-year-old company that was founded to help the biggest enterprises in the world collect their customer data from all of their different customer touch points. Right and to track the consent provenance of that data and then to create informed and intelligent customer experiences. And we're a built on Databricks company, proud to be here and help uh, 10 of the 20 largest banks in the world, six That's of huge. the 10 largest telcos in the world, all use Telium to deliver amazing and intelligent customer experiences. Kind of also curious to learn a little bit about what's ahead that's coming for Delium and what can, uh, what conversations are you having here at the Data Plus AI Summit uh, with these enterprise leaders? Sure, I mean, look, the conversation that every board of directors is having, that every management team is having is, okay, AI is coming and how does that impact customer experience? and how can we operate more efficiently and grow faster using this new AI, you know, all of these new amazing AI tools. But one thing everyone knows is that you cannot be successful in AI without great data. Right. We just had our conference and our number one customer uh, agreement is that you must have a great data foundation totally. to be successful with AI. Totally. And you also must follow all of the global privacy regulations. Right, And you want to have real-time data so that customers and all of your AI algorithms are being fed with real-time data, but it must be consented data. Mm. And so we're here helping all of our customers and these amazing uh, Databricks customers to solve that problem. Love it. Uh, I also heard the recent news that you all just released about CloudStream. I'm kind of curious to know a little about that as well and how does it in integrate with data clouds like Databricks? Uh, can you share a little bit? Absolutely, so a lot of our customers, Telium does data collection and then data enrichment and we visitorize event level data and then we help you activate it. A lot of our customers have existing historical data sets about their customers right. in Databricks and we want to help them activate that data, so with CloudStream, they can come in and do a query and pull an audience or a, even an individual out of Databricks and then use Telium's 1300 connectors, which right. run around the world on a trusted platform and a secure platform to create customer experiences that improve conversion rate and drive right. incredible business right. value. I'm kind of also curious to know a little bit about, you know, since you all have like such strong partnership with Databricks, uh, how, how is that helping the joint customers to, and the enterprise leaders to especially, you know, work around the privacy uh, compliant data and advanced analytics, if you can throw some light on that. Yeah, sure. So, our partnership with Databricks is really, Telium is this high performance cache that sits in between the customer experience systems right. like the CMS, the email, the ad tech, and call center, and in the stateful data warehouse, heavy duty analytics and AI workloads. Like this is the foundation that Databricks provides. And so our partnership is basically being a high performance cache that will collect data, stream it in real time into Databricks, but then also help you activate the experiences you want to with all informed by all the knowledge and AI predictions that you and recommendations that come out of Databricks. Mm. Being, our connections are two way, right? Game so board. not only do we collect data, but we then help you activate and create the customer experience with the connectors we've built. That's fantastic and great partnership that you all have with Databricks. Yes. Uh, and the customers are learning more. They are obviously solving much more bigger problems uh, with Telium and Databricks, so that's fantastic. Uh, one more quick question around AI. AI is obviously on top of everyone's mind right now. Uh, how is Telium driving AI innovation, particularly with partners like Databricks? Uh, uh, is there a joint story that you can share? Yeah, well, so, like I said, all AI needs data, yep. and Telium's uh, immediate use is AI stream, using Telium to collect data, stream it into AI. Right, right. And then you don't generate any business value unless you activate what comes out of your AI, whatever it is. Right, this could be fraud pre prevention, re recommendations, personalization, customer journey pathing, all of these things are what come out of right. AI. And we're also then, so we're enabling that as a data source and as an activation mm. source. 
We're also then embedding AI in our platform, leveraging some of the Databricks capabilities, which will help our customers do things like talk to their data and really unlock the power of, and the value of this data without having to be a code level engineer mm. so that marketers and customer experience professionals can navigate this crazy world and deliver delightful and AI powered experiences without having to get down to the code or the byte level. Hmm, that's fantastic and uh, thanks for sharing those uh, points there. Uh, one more quick question that I have for you and uh, I'm pretty sure um, a lot of uh, enterprise leaders also would be asking you about the future as well. So how do you see the future of the AI innovation that's happening uh, and what role will Telium have in that? So we believe that Look, there is an agentic future that is coming. It's going to basically double the number of digital interactions the enterprises have with their customers because now voice will be a very easy and intuitive exactly. and native way to interface with these yep. customers. Yep. And you no longer just have to have a phone in your hand or a computer at your desk. You can actually just talk to these companies. So, so if a company had 100 interactions per day before, now they're going to have 200 interactions. Guess what? The old ones aren't going away. You still have brick and mortar, call center, web, mobile. Exactly. Now you're going to have 100 net new that are agentic interactions. About half of those will probably be human. Let's say four years out. Humans talking to these companies' agents. The other half are going to be agent to agent. And so companies that are going to be successful in the AI era have to prepare their data sets and the experiences to feed them through both of those channels, right? Now, when a human comes to your agent and talks to them, that's one type of experience. When an agent comes, you want to feed them data through an ATA, MCP, whatever evolves, yep. whatever industry standard. All of that comes from the same data layer foundation that is feeding all of these channels. And having that consistent data layer foundation, making sure it is consented, making sure it is real time, right. enriching it with your own first party attributes, your own language, that is what will allow companies to be successful and competitive in this go forward agentic era. Fantastic. Uh, this is what I wanted to hear from a CEO kind of, you know, talking about the future as well and how we kind of, you know, focus more on the agentic piece as well. Yeah. And I think, yes, double the production, uh, double the uh, request as well. And yeah. voice is also going to play a very important role in all this. Yeah, and, and we wrote, you know, with MCP, right, I, I tell our people that that's just like giving AI models hands right. so they can go out and take actions. Yep. So we rolled out our MCP um, connector a couple of months ago. We already have customers and employees and partners doing great things with our MCP connector. Right. And so as rapidly as this is advancing, we're advancing with it and enabling our customers to unlock the value of that data. Fantastic, Jeff. Uh, such a pleasure chatting with you and thanks for all the great insights you've shared today. We'll keep the conversation going, but one last question for you. If folks want to reach out to you, learn more about the different things uh, and also want to follow Telium, where can they do that? Is LinkedIn the best place to follow you? or? Um, which is uh, uh, they can email, if, if they want to talk about Telium, they can email me at jeff at Um I am on LinkedIn, uh, Telium.com. We have a great presence there, and you know, come fill out a lead form on the website. We'll get. We are specialized by vertical industries, Love it. and we can help our, help talk about real solutions to real data opportunities and challenges um, to anybody that's interested. Fantastic. Jeff, again, such a pleasure chatting with you. We'll keep the conversation going, but uh, uh, it was your debut and we loved it. Uh, we loved hosting you on the Robin Show. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you.